Hello fashion sewers, in today's tutorial I'm going to be giving you an overview of one of these. I call it an overlocker, some of you may refer to it as a serger. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm going to refer to this as an overlocker but remember it is a serger and a serger overlocker is a sewing machine. The advantage it has is that as you sew there's a blade here it trims away excess fabric and also threads and it also neatens the raw edge in a much more professional manner than what you would get with modern sewing machines. Now there, this is a four threader as you can see. You can also use it as a two threader which will be those two and you can also use it as a three threader which will be those three. Now it operates on the same basis as a sewing machine. You've got your tensions here you need to make sure that they're correct so that your stitching lies flat and then you've also got your hand wheel which is at the side. So that's just a basic overview of the actual overlocker. I'm just showing you the back of the sewing machine now or rather the overlocker and here we have four threads. The two last threads are what you call the loopers and these two here are what you call the needle threads. Now the loopers, they create the actual stitching that loops around the raw edge of the fabric and the two needle threads, they actually keep the loopers in place. I'm going to demonstrate two ways in which a beginner fashion sewer can use an overlocker in order to either sew a garment from beginning to end or improve those raw edges of your woven fabric. The first one is going to be using a knitted fabric and here I have an example of uh, the overlocking stitch which is the four threads on a seam. Here I've got a sample of knitted fabric and I'm going to be using four threads in order to sew it. I've got a little mistake here which I'm going to show you where the blade is going to cut that off. I didn't do a straight cutting there. So what you need to do is place your work just the same as using a sewing machine on the plate and it reaches, matches up and lines with the edge of your plate. No further than that because you don't want to be cutting any um, seam away. Lift uh, your foot or the lever is at the back as with the sewing machine or you can lift it from the front and put your work under. And using your presser foot, the same as a sewing machine, just stitch away. And as you can see, the blade is cutting off little bits of the actual seam itself. So you can actually neaten your edge as you go. You can see the blade working away there. And then make sure when you come to the end of your work, an overlocker does not reverse. So you need to make sure you've got a long enough tail and then you actually then trim, cut away. And there you have your overlocked seam. And the second way you can use your overlocker is when you're using your woven fabric. Now this is only just for neatening the raw edges of your fabric. So let me just show you here. I've got a seam here that has been overlocked and it's a fabric that frays. And as you can see, it beautifully finishes it off, gives it that nice professional look. Now here I have a raw edge and this time I'm going to be just using three threads because I just want to neaten the raw edge. I want to get rid of all these little three edges here. So I'm going to be lifting my foot from behind instead of at the front, put it down making sure that I line it up with the plate here so that the blade can actually trim off all these little hairs along the edge here. very easy machine to actually operate. It's faster than the actual sewing machine. Remember it doesn't reverse so make sure you leave a tail and then cut halfway. And there we have a neatened edge on a woven fabric. Here I have this sample side by side. This is the knitted and this is the woven. Now with woven I've only used three threads and you use your fabric as, as a single layer so you haven't created a seam you actually neaten your raw edge and then you go to your sewing machine and then you create your seam. Now with the knitted fabrics you can make garments from beginning to end and you work with two layers of fabrics so I've got a closed seam here and in order to have a closed seam I need to use the fourth threader 
because it actually stitches the loopers down and it also creates a straight stitch as you would get with your sewing machine. I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. Remember, it is just a basic overview of how to use your overlocker and some of you may refer to it as a serger. I will be doing more video tutorials on how to use your overlocker when you're doing your sewing projects. So if you have any comments or queries, please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.